Okay, Houston, right, we've had a problem here. This is Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey guys, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna learn what causes mass wasting? What causes landslides, landslides, <laughs> landslides, and uh, mud flows, etc.? So that's the purpose of this, and it's pretty fascinating. What's causing it? So here's uh, probably a bad picture. <laughs> and what happened is that someone's house there was a landslide, mud flow, and it just took their house out. Right? Wow. I uh, hope that's not your house, right? And uh, so it's really probably somewhat obvious, I think. Uh, but let's talk about it. If there's a saturation of material with water, then that's going to cause mass wasting. All right, and and I know some of you guys experienced uh, uh, Hurricane Harvey. And I didn't, and I know that you saw what was happening as water just overtook the world and here in Houston, and the ground was saturated and it moved stuff. But imagine now doing this in a hillside where they can move so rapidly that you don't even have any time to repair. And, uh, and if you get too much water, what it does is, is the soil can't hold itself together when there's too much water. Now you need some water to hold it together, sort of a balance between holding the, the, water, the uh, soil together and then just destroying the soil. Because remember, in a mass wasting event, there's usually some kind of a hill. And this hill, you know, if it's got soil and stuff in it, if it sticks together, it will... It will uh, it'll stay together and it won't have the mass wasting. But if you get too much water and too much water and too much water, it'll just destroy any cohesion and it'll break down. Of course, the water adds weight and boom, rock slide, mud slide, whatever it might be is gonna happen. Other causes of it is the over steepening of the slopes. If the slope is too steep, it's a steep slope versus a shallow slope, then of course, uh, this is more likely to have a problem, right? And uh, if you've got these granular particles, again, small particles, um, this reaches something called the angle of repose. This is a really cool thing. The angle of repose is the angle at which a given body of stuff will hold together. Some can have really steep and some materials can be really shallow. We'll do an activity in class that will help us to understand uh, this idea of angle of repose. So we're not going to go into great details here because we're going to sort of experience uh, with our own hands, okay? And so it's, uh, the stable slope is different for different materials. And uh, if it's too steep, it's unstable and it's going to become crashing down. And the other thing that could be an issue is vegetation. So if you've got a hill and they've got trees on it, right? These are trees. All right, they're trees. They're really, they're trees. Uh, <laughs> uh, the trees, they've got roots and they hold the soil in place. And then that creates all kinds of issues. Uh, it, it creates stability, actually. And if you don't have that, you've got a problem. In fact, I remember I told you the story of my, uh, my friend who was the librarian who got swept away in one of those slides. What had happened the year before is there had been a huge forest fire in the area, and it destroyed all the trees along that hillside. And now, when it rained, and it was a big rainstorm, all that mud flowed down because the roots were dead, and they couldn't hold the soil, and then the mud flow uh, went down the valley, she got swept in, uh, the whole deal. And then, of course, something else that is sort of unpredictable, of course, you could have an earthquake. And earthquakes are going to cause uh, mass wasting events because it's shaking up and any kind of weakness is, happens in a mass wasting event. So that's my... Yeah. So that, my friends, is the end of weathering, erosion, and mass wasting. So you guys are awesome. We have completed level four. See you in class.